day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Thai Fight Center. I'm your host, Pontagon or Pipatana Pong, and today we will recap one of the most epic rivalries and matches in Thai fight history. It was a rivalry that took place in two fights over the course of nearly four years. It is a vengeance story of sorts, where neither fight made it to the sound of the final bell. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Chanachon PK San Chai Muay Thai Gym versus Sayo Pumpan Moor. These two fighters first met in the Isuzu Cup Super Fight. Contested at 70 kilograms of Thai Fight World Battle 2014, Jakri Narube, in front of the HMS Jakri Narube in the Satahi district of the Shonburi province. Now in the black corner, you have the 30-year-old two-year Thai Fight veteran, Sayo Pumpan Moor from the Bisanulo province. Now, Sai Yok made his Thai Fight debut on May 14th, 2011 at Thai Fight Extreme 2011 in France. At this point in time, he has a fight record of 218 wins, 42 losses, and one draw. Up to this match, he has a Thai Fight record of 9 and 1. His last match, and sole loss in Thai Fight up until then, was an extra round decision loss to Sutsa Khan Soklin Mi in the finals of the inaugural Thai Fight Katcha tournament back in December 22nd, 2013. It was the first time Thai Fight had introduced its now iconic Katcha format, with Sayo coming one win short of becoming the first ever Katcha Rules champion. Additionally, Sayo Pumpan Muang is a former Lumpini Stadium 70 kilogram super welterweight champion, Thailand national 67 kilogram welterweight champion, Rajanam Nern Stadium 63 kilogram super lightweight champion, and WMC 63 kilogram super lightweight champion. So he had quite the Muay Thai resume before even coming to Thai fight. Now in the white corner, you have the winner of the 24th Izuzu Cup. Making his Thai fight debut is the 25-year-old Chanajon PK San Chai Muay Thai Gym from the Buriram province, who punched his ticket to Muay Thai's largest stage by winning out on the Omnoi Stadium Izuzu Cup eight-man tournament. Now a little side note. Most Muay Thai fighters come out of the Buriram province. It's one of the biggest exporters of Muay Thai fighters. So you know this guy's the real deal. Now, he's a little less experienced with a record of 71 wins, 20 losses, and 5 draws. Now, he defeated Ekshanat Chai Gao Samrit by decision after 5 rounds to become the tournament's winner. Now by winning the Izuzu Cup, Chanajan nabbed himself a cash prize of 1 million Thai baht, an Izuzu D-Max pickup truck worth approximately 500,000 Thai baht. He's young, he's competitive, you know he's ready to seize the opportunity on the big stage of Muay Thai. But you have to wonder, is Chanajan ready for such a big stage? Sure, he's the real deal having won the Izuzu Cup, one of the most prestigious tournaments in Muay Thai. He's also a former champion of the prestigious Rajadam Nurn Stadium. But these tournaments take place in venues that can hold up to, at most, thousands of people. Thai Fight, on the other hand, hosts audience numbering in the tens of thousands. And Sai Yok's been here for the better part of two years. This is familiar territory for Sai Yok. Well, whatever emotions Chana Jones feeling right now for this fight, he's sure hitting them well. He just looks ready to fight, even if it's in against the future Muay Thai Hall of Famer, Sai Yo, who's known for his devastating elbow strikes. But Chana Jones packing some arsenal of his own dominating Ekshana Shai in the Izuzu Cup Tournament Final with his deadly knees. These are both big men. They are fighting here at 70 kilograms. That's 154 pounds, even. When it comes to reach, Chanajon has the advantage here. He's the bigger guy. Chanajon towers over his opponent at 180 centimeters. Now on the other hand, Sayo is 7 centimeters the shorter at 173 centimeters. Still, as we've all come to know, size, in this case height, doesn't matter in Muay Thai. The fight starts out with an exchanging of strikes. Each punch is responded with another, each kick is answered with another. The fighters are leaving no strike unanswered. Chenanjan actually may have adjusted his style of Muay Thai since his last fight, trading in his knees for some kicks instead. Perhaps that's to avoid getting into close range, 
putting himself at risk of being hit by Sayok's slicing elbows. He's playing the game of distance right now. A wise choice on his part. Now, Chanat Jung is not doing bad for a young man making his debut on Muay Thai's biggest stage. Maybe Sayok has his work cut out for him. Spending two years in Thai fight does take its toll on his body, especially after having recently competed in the Thai fight cart chip tournament. You have to wonder if Sayok's body is still going to hold up in this fight, especially when he's taking on such a young opponent. 30 years old is quite a lot in Muay Thai years. The wear and tear accumulated by the body doesn't help with slowing the aging process. Sayok though, showing why he's been getting the job done on Muay Thai's biggest stage for two straight years. Izuzu Cup winner or not, Shanajan falls prey to a lethal left elbow strike from Sayo Pumpan Muan, and he's just rumbling, bumbling, stumbling to get back up. That's all she wrote for Chanachon. It's a second round knockout for Sayo. Well, he's shown here that age hasn't caught up with him, and that he won't let a young, hungry fighter like Chanachon PK Sanchai Muay Thai Jin try and dethrone him in the Izuzu Cup Super Fight. To meet again in the main event of Thai Fight Bangkok on January 27th, 2018, in the nation's capital. They are the biggest matchup of the night physically, both men weighing in at 72.5 kilograms, 160 pounds. This is a rematch nearly four years in the making. By now, the 29-year-old Chenna John himself has also become a veteran of the grand Thai Fight stage, since his rude welcome to Muay Thai's largest stage back in April 2014, which saw him getting brutally KO'd by the more experienced Sayo, Chana John has gone a respectable 5 and 2 in the promotion, with two wins coming by way of knockout. Sayo Kumpan Muang seems to have caught some luck at last. In addition to his stunning elbow strike KO victory over the debuting Chana John, 2014 was undisputedly his best year with the promotion, as he won the year end. Thai Fight 72.5 kilogram tournament. His first title victory in Thai Fight. Like the first matchup, he will be fighting out of the white corner. Coming into this fight, he has a record of 94 wins, 29 losses, and five draws. In the black corner, despite now being 34 years of age, Sayok has enjoyed a run of 20 victories to four losses, with nine wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, he has a fight record of 249 wins, 49 losses, and one draw. There is a considerable gap in experience between the two fighters. Now, it's clear Sayok has been more active in Thai fight over the last three years than Chanajan from 2014 to 2017. The latter has also appeared in various other Muay Thai events, explaining his seven fights in Thai fight over a three year span. Despite still being the younger fighter, Chan and John is still the fighter who needs to prove himself. More specifically, he has to prove himself on the Thai fight stage. At this point, he has a 5-3 overall record, with two knockout wins to two knockout losses, one of those losses being his debut against Sayo. He has the opportunity to even the score. From 0-1, he can make it 1-1 against Sayo Kumban Muang. Now, Sayok has virtually established himself as a Thai Fight Hall of Famer. In fact, 2018 was the most recent year in which he competed for Thai Fight. He has a 30 and 5 overall record with a 2014 Thai Fight title on his resume. He's clearly the more decorated fighter. The only thing he has left to do is to make this rivalry 2 and 0. Oh. Chan and John having fully made the transformation from Muay Kao to Muay Thai in this fight. He'd begun making this transition when he made his Thai fight debut. During his first match with Sayok, after having enjoyed a knee fighting style prior to entering the big stage, he has the reach advantage, so kicking from long range won't be much of a problem. It's a better approach on his part because he can avoid getting into close range with Sayok. Because if he does, Sayok can unleash those elbows. And last time, Sayok finished off Chanachon by way of left elbow and left him with a hard time getting back up. And Chanachon will not be denied this time. He's back with a vengeance. And he finally evens the score as he drops Sayok with a brutal 
Highlight reel, right head kick. My, how the tables have turned. He really has proven himself worthy as a fighter on the grand stage of Muay Thai. And what better way to showcase that than to avenge one of your most devastating losses in almost identical fashion. Sayok knocked him out by a left elbow in their first meeting, and Chanajon knocked Sayok out by a right kick in their second. It doesn't get any more poetic than this. So that's it for today's episode of the Thai Fight Center. I'm your host, Pontagon Urapi Patanapong, and stay tuned for the next episode. <laughs>